I've really thought about MOBAs and just highly competitive games in general. And I, this is not like doctrine or anything, but this is kind of like a real simple way of explaining my thoughts here. I feel like there's two different phases to these games, a learning phase and a mastery phase. So the learning phase is what we're in right now. It's fun and exciting. We're, like, we're realizing the things that we can do that are effective. We're putting that into the game and we're having a good time because of it, because we're experiencing that growth. Not only that, but we're going in expecting to lose. Like when we win, we're like, oh, awesome. I won, you know, like I'm, yeah, yeah. that's the reward that I'm reaping. But that only lasts a certain amount of time. Eventually you hit that mastery phase where it's like, I'm going into every game expecting to win. And then when I lose, I feel really shitty about it. Um, you know, I know how the game's played. It's just a matter of like, how well am I going to execute? You know, maybe I'm learning a, a, a few new things here and there, but for the most part, like I know the game, uh, front and back, the characters, their abilities, like all that stuff. And it's just like the grind now. And that's when it, it doesn't become fun. So I, I don't know. Um, do you that... know you're on basically fire right now? Like your brain is <laughs> yeah. so big and meta that you just explain something that I've felt many times while trying different MOBAs or just other games in general that I've never really been able to articulate like that. Like, totally, dude. I, I have the rose-tinted glasses on. I'm in the fuck-around phase. And when the find-out phase comes, it's kind of demoralizing, you know? Yeah. Because and yeah, there's a tipping I, point. Yeah. I remember hitting that tipping point in League of Legends. Like, I specifically remember the match where that happened. And I was just like, and a lot of times it happens and then we don't realize it happens. And we're like, why am I not like, why am I so angry all the time while playing this game? When did that happen? <laughs> when did this game stop being fun and more like work? Yeah. 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 What yeah, do you call I, it? Um, what's, what's funny is that feeling is actually going on a lot right now with games like call of duty and um, a couple of other shooters with a uh, skill-based matchmaking. Um, some companies are turning it off temporarily and like, uh, and putting it back on. And people are seeing that the fact that like skill based match, even though people complain about it, they're like, "Oh, skill based match, skill based matchmaking doesn't doesn't do anything." Blah 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 blah. And then they turned it off, and they get absolutely annihilated by players that are like way better than them. Or mm. on the flip side, they do really, really, really well. And um, for those who don't know who what uh, skill based matchmaking is, it's like this hidden service essentially that's in a lot of games like Call of Duty and things like that. Like even if you don't play ranked. Um, what it is, is you will be put in a lobby with people who have the same statistics or near the same statistics as you so that you kind of have, like everybody gets to kind of have the same amount of fun. Yeah. It's like a, sounds. it's like a hidden ELO that you exactly. have. Yeah. And you know what I, I read or I heard somewhere is that when you start deadlock, it automatically puts you on one of those zip lines and you're zipping out to lane right away. Um, and it sorts people on those zip lines against other people on the team who have a similar ELO. So not only is the matchmaking pairing you up with teams that are evenly balanced, it's putting you in lanes automatically with people that it thinks you are evenly matched with, which I, I don't know. I thought if that's true, that's pretty interesting. 